There are already a few videos on this subject on YouTube, but they all point to the direction of manually placing the UVs of each card. But what if you don't want to do that? Here is my method, which only uses one UV unwrap, to have a clean and nicely mapped deck of unique cards. You will only need an image with all the cards in a grid to extract all the textures. The trick is to use the UV offset of an array modifier to automatically get all the 56 cards to align with a different card texture. This is the method I used in the 1000 video, which allowed me to have all cards properly mapped and quickly swap out the textures if needed. First, let's model a card. Take a plane, make it 64 by 89 mm, and apply the scale. Round the corners with Ctrl Shift B. To create nice topology, make sure to bevel with an odd number of vertices. If you want to bend your cards later, now is the time to clean the topology of your cards to have nice quads. The easiest way is to join the vertices of the bevels with the knife tool this way. And then add the loop cuts in the center section with Ctrl R to have evenly spaced edges in both directions. This way, your card can cleanly twist if you need it. Add some thickness with the Solidify modifier set to 0.2 mm. Create three materials, one for the front, one for the back, and the last one for the sides of the card. In the Solidify modifier settings, set the material offset to 1 and 2 to apply the right materials to each part of the card. Set the offset to 0 and apply the modifier. Now let's create the textures. In the shader view, with the front material selected, add your card sheet texture and connect it to the base color. Go to the UV editing tab, and let's resize the UVs so they match with the first cards on the top left corner. It can be a bit hard to have it precisely centered and not overlap with the next cards, so it can be easier to match the dimensions of another card, and once you are happy, move the UVs again to the first card. Once you are happy with the mapping of the first card, let's quickly do the back. For this one, we won't be using UVs, because we want the same back on every card. So set the mapping to generated. And play around with the settings, size and position, until you manage to align the texture of the back of the card. Another way would be to have a separate texture of the back, which would make this mapping way easier. The final texture step is to add the bump pattern of high-end cards, add a bump node driven by a Voronoi texture set to smooth F1 with random set to 0, and with a scale set to around 100 to 120. Play around with the distance and strength until you like the results. And we are done for the textures. Now for the fun part. Add an array modifier along the x-axis and set the count to the number of columns on your card's texture. Add another array modifier along the negative y-axis with count set to the number of rows on the texture. Now we got a sheet of identical cards. Go back to the first modifier. Under UVs, play around with the offset U until you see all the cards of your first row properly mapped onto each card. It can be hard to get it right even with the shift pressed to have a final control, so don't hesitate to manually type values. Once you are done, move on to the second modifier and do the same with the offset V until your card layout matches your original card texture. Finally, let's turn this into a usable card deck. Set the relative offset of both modifiers to only one on the z-axis. Apply the modifiers from top to bottom. In edit mode with everything selected, press P and separate by use parts. In object mode under object, set the origin of all cards to the center of mass volume and I'm just going to get rid of the first card, which is plain white in my case. Let's make this deck a bit more realistic. Select the top card and with the proportional editing set to linear, move the card up to give everything a bit more room. 
set proportional editing to random, and select any card, rotate it a bit around the z-axis. And finally, we are done. Here is a properly laid out deck of individual cards, which are all properly UV mapped. Hope that was useful, see you next time.